that I've learned along the way have, have been very helpful. Whether you're just coming out of school or maybe you're like changing your career like midlife or maybe you're like picking a new discipline. I, I, I really think that it's important to, to do these 10 steps. Um, the first one is knowing your skill set, knowing exactly what gets you excited. Um, not just doing it because you can, but doing it because you absolutely really want to and enjoy it and love it. Um, and then also presenting yourself in a way that people can see that you enjoy it and love it, whether that's through a portfolio, through a blog, or um, through your resume, like really just making sure that you present yourself like accordingly. Also, the second thing is knowing how you want to work. Maybe you don't want to work full time like in a office or in a cubicle. Maybe you want to do Maybe you want to travel, maybe you want to work from home, maybe you want to work different places at different times and continue changing. No matter what type of work you want to do, there's always something that's going to be available for you. Um, but you just have to know exactly what it is that you want and then stick to it and then also not, not waver from it at all. Um, which leads to the third thing, that nothing is forever. So even if you do decide like you want to do something and you don't like it six months later, it's okay. Like life is short um, and then there's so many opportunities out there, especially in the design world that you can switch and they actually expect you to. Like, you know, long term is a year or three years, whether, whereas like, you know, with our parents or in the older generation, long term was a 30 year, a 30 year um, job. So just knowing that nothing is forever can be very like a short reassuring to know that as as the times are changing you can as well um four is change is inevitable so there's always going to be something where you might have liked doing web design for about a year and now you want to do mobile design or maybe you want to do videography or maybe you want to be a chef like and and that's fine too there's always different outlets for you but the the best thing is to always stay true to yourself um, the fifth thing is know your value. There's a lot of times where designers feel like, oh, well, I just came out of school or I just did this, so I, I probably am only worth like 25 an hour or 20 an hour. Um, while I haven't talked about, while I won't talk about rates in, in this video, I do feel like it's important to make sure you do your research. There's a lot of different resources out there that are showing you what different designers are being paid for, um, whether they're independent or whether they're going through um, a headhunter, which usually takes a lot of your money, or whether you're um, you know, just doing it on your own. It's good to know your value and also uh, never to stick from that, as well, like never to sway from that as well. Um, the sixth thing is to don't rush. Um, just because you're out of school, you think you have to jump into this job because it's like, you, you, it's the only one you're going to have, the only one that's ever going to come. Um, I understand that, you know, during this rough economy, there's a lot of difficult jobs to get, but design and things in the design world and technology isn't really one of them. So if it's something that you don't really want to do, what I've always learned is to just wait, like, and something will come to you that you appreciate or that you like, or maybe it's something that you need to change your resume or portfolio to actually show what it is that you do, that you do like. Um, the seventh thing is to learn how to balance. Um, whether you're freelancing or whether you're working, it can be very easy to be engrossed in your work because you love it. But at the same time, you also need to have a social life. You also need to care about your family. You also need to care about your health. So it's important to make sure that you set boundaries and always know um, that, that you have to maintain that balance or it could all feel in vain after a while or you can feel pulled at a lot of different ends. Um, number eight is don't take it too seriously. Um, design is a field that's very subjective, so some people won't like your work, even if it is good, or some people will like it even if it's bad. And then this is one of those things where just even if you don't like it or if you do like it, just take it as a learning experience. And if you've solved the problem, then, then that's the biggest thing that matters. So um, try not to take yourself or life too seriously or you could get burnt out very quickly. Uh, the ninth thing is to continue learning, whether it's through books, resources, blogs, um, other designers, challenging yourself, cha doing mini challenges like with other designers. You always have to make sure that you're learning. Um, without that, you become outdated very quickly. And then the tenth thing is to breathe and network. Um, in breathing and in networking and in having fun, you realize that this this lifestyle that, that that is called the design life, no matter what form it takes on, is actually a fun one, and it's one that a lot of people are jealous of. <laughs> but and that's okay um, because 
if, if you like having fun and you're and you're having fun while doing it, then that's the most important part that matters. And networking is also important because a lot of your clients will come from referrals or a lot of your jobs or a lot of opportunities will come from referrals and staying inside your house and lamenting about not having a job won't won't do that. So hopefully that has helped. Um, this is the top 10. Um, yeah.